Today in front of me I have Doji V Max and in this video I would like to share the top 5 pro tips and features for this device. So to start I will demonstrate that you can enroll the fingerprint or add your fingerprint and set up the fingerprint recognition method, screen lock method. So launch settings, then go for the fingerprint, then go for the fingerprint manager, choose what backup screen lock method you would like to go with it. I'll go with pattern, then set up the password of choice, or your password of choice. Onwards, choose what notification access the lock screen will have. And more, more, I agree. And now we can start enrolling the fingerprint. So the scanner is located at the side power button. Let me quickly turn off the auto rotate feature, or wherever it is. Okay, whatever. So the sensor is located at the side power button, so just continuously lay and lift your finger on and off the scanner until the entire surface of it will be red, scanned simply. Already, now the fingerprint is added, the fingerprint recognition was successfully enabled, so let's test it out. As you can see, works like a charm. So moving on, I will demonstrate that you can manage your screen refresh rate. So open settings, go for display, expand the advanced options and open the screen refresh rate page. In here, there are three values to choose from, 60, 90 and 120 Hertz. The higher you go, the smoother and silkier uh, visual experience you'll get and animations will be sharper and snappier but at the same time, higher values of display refresh rate tend to drain significantly more battery. But I mean, this device anyways, it has like 20,000 milliampere um, hours or something like that. So it's not like you would be worrying about power consumption on this one. But if you just do not want to manually change between all those uh, values uh, in accordance with like let's say battery you have left, uh, you can always set uh, the screen refresh, mo refresh rate mode to automatic and let the system automatically um, set the value for you. The <clears throat> next feature uh, that I wanted to show you is called the side key function. That's a whole separate settings category conveniently, so open it. Um, this phone, unlike the majority of other devices you might have stumbled upon has not only volume rocker and side power key but also the additional key at the left side of the phone uh, which you can uh, program some things on uh, for one click double click and long press so let's say as for the on, uh, one click I'll go with mm, well, screenshot the double click will open the camera and the long press will, I don't know, open the flashlight or enable the flashlight. Now let's test it out. So here is one click. The screenshot is taken. Here is double. The camera is launched. And here is the long press. The flashlight is also active. And once you uh, long press the, this function button or m macros, macros button again, it also turns the flashlight conveniently off. So that's also a plus. Uh, the next step uh, is the smallest one. Uh, that's how you can enable the battery percentage over here. So in order to do that, go into settings, then battery, and simply toggle on the battery percentage switch. And as you can see, the battery percentage appears right over here. The fifth and final tip for today is the only performance related one, more or less. Uh, that's the memory expansion as you could have already guessed and how you can activate it. So open its respective settings category. And in here, um, well, 
Long story short, the RAM expansion works in a way that the system allocates the respective amount of gigabytes from the internal storage, so it borrows them and controls them in a way that they are those additional RAM gigabytes, they are used as virtual random access memory. So it helps your system performance and offloads the actual RAM, allowing you to do multiple processes at the same time, allowing your system to work just faster, smoother, and seamlessly in general. So that's a very cool feature to have enabled if you don't mind um, sacrificing a few gigabytes of storage. So basically, all you gotta do is to turn on this toggle, then choose how many gigabytes you would like to uh, increase your RAM for, and then just reboot the device in order for those changes to be applied or take effect, and you are good to go. Alrighty, so that will be it not only for the last tip, but for this video in general, so we highly appreciate your attention guys, thanks for watching, if you found it helpful, do not forget to uh, hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. Bye-bye!